campaigning intensifies in 22 constituencies for the second phase of the 11th Manipur Assembly elections. Jafina Sokra Mibobi contends BJP will not win more than two seats in the first phase. PH Chauba claims BJP will get absolute majority in form of the next government. An election commission of India says the exit polls can be telecast after 5.30 p.m. on Thursday. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Lakhima Mamanika with the latest news updates. Campaigning has intensified in 22 constituencies in the hills and valley for the second and last phase of the 11th Manipur Assembly elections. Polling for the last phase will be held on March 8. Tomorrow is the last day of campaigning and 22 Assembly constituencies will go to the polls in this phase on Wednesday. Senior BJP leaders and Union Ministers Rajnath Singh and Nitin Gatkari, Senior Congress Leader and Chief Minister Ukrami Bobi Singh and Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khanum are campaigning for their parties as star campaigners in this phase. 98 candidates including four women candidates are in the fray. Pungyar is the largest assembly constituency area-wise, while Mao has the largest number of electorate. Tipaimok has the least number of voters. The Election Commission has issued directions to the Chief Electoral Officers for the five poll-bound states of Manipur, Punjab, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh and Goa for making foolproof security arrangements for counting of votes. These directions are in addition to those issued earlier by the Commission regarding storage and safety arrangements of EVMs, appointment of counting staff, counting agents and counting procedures. The Commission has also several rounds of video conferences with the CEOs and returning officers of the five states to take first-hand inputs on the preparedness of the counting arrangements. Giving details of security mechanism set up, a senior Election Commission officer says the Election Commission of India is not leaving any stone unturned to ensure fair and transparent counting arrangements at all the 157 counting centres. Counting will take place at 12 centres in Manipur, 53 in Punjab, 2 in Goa, 75 in Uttar Pradesh and 15 centers in Uttarakhand. The Election Commission has also taken feedback from all the political parties and candidates based on which these additional instructions have been issued with a view to further bolster public sec uh, security arrangements to tackle both general as well as situation-specific exigencies and ensure a smooth counting process in a transparent manner. Election Commission of India has also instructed all the CEOs and DEOs to make the above arrangements and undertake counting process cautiously, step by step and without undue haste and so as to make them foolproof. The instruction includes proper barricading arrangements inside each of the counting hall with well wires mesh to segregate the counting agents from the counting personnel and EVMs, proper arrangement of videography in all the counting halls to record the general happenings in the counting hall for effective monitoring. The Commission has also instructed that all counting arrangements must be completed by the night of 7th March. It said the observers will visit the counting halls on 8th March and will send a report to the Commission on counting arrangements. Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh today contended that the BJP will win two seats at the most in the first phase election held yesterday. The Chief Minister also asserted that India is now among the superpowers because of the continuous efforts of the Congress government. He maintained that it was not the achievement of the BJP government. Speaking at an election rally at Salongpum Public Ground in Hairo constituency, Ibobi said several schemes including Food Security Act, Service Siksha Avyan and Narega were introduced during the time of the UPA government. He alleged that the NDA government led by the BJP is trying to gain political mileage by claiming that it introduced the schemes. India se prithivi ji super power yawre ga information technology ga Shri Rajiv ji na Prime Minister wari ga puthu amba. Science and technology ga advance wari ga Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru na hai 
Ninka Tamukodigi, Mana Singer River, Hodom, but Toriba foreign policy in the Toromiba Mayam. Maduda the Sengatpa Sagatpa policy program, non alignment gi, pretty bit of lady by Paxing relation, pardon of a pull up some in the Toromiba Mayam say, worldly superpower like BJP and Sahin, Tarek Makai Box has one pioneer, Puri Brava Seva. Sumaina Moon and Law in a Siamma Saba, Tona, Machin Chiba, Oid and Nangba. Mayam Singh se, BJP se, Manipur ki lai mai da, Bharat ki lai mai da ki amok khanna lakh pa targa di, khwai da ki lai bak thiba hoi gani. In his address, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam insisted that NSC and IM and the BJP are the biggest enemies of the people of Manipur. Gai Khangam said two enemies are threatening the territorial integrity of Manipur. One is the NSC and IM, which is openly challenging it, while the other is the groups which work hand in glove with the underground outfit. He said the BJP government cannot give answers to three charges made against it by the Congress. He said the Congress questioned the BJP government about the June 18 incident, framework agreement and the indefinite economic blockage. He also claimed that the Congress will win 28 seats of the 38 seats that where polling was held yesterday. <laughs> Number but against the wrongdoing of BJP party, committed against the state of Manipur. Come here, the Hukum Day, 18 June. This is the source number one. Framework agreement, the Raghana Soitawi. Adamini source number two. Praman the Yang, or even the document Yang. Indefinite blockade. Chief Minister Ukrami will be saying today accused the BJP of misleading the people with false propaganda. He alleged that the party is publishing false propaganda in newspapers to woo the voters. Speaking at the flag hoisting of the Congress candidate in Lilong constituency, Abdul Nasir, at his residence at Lilong Maiden Kong, the Chief Minister says power sharing is necessary to ensure harmony and integrity among the various communities living together in the state. He also stressed the need for reservation for the minority communities in the state. ยาบ้าไฮบะเชยาบ้าไฮบะเชอะคุยมีอยู่บะสิชอนกิมะทังเดลไหลฮะนี่อิชอนน่ะมะปูเนยาบะไฮบะเชเลงเซนกิริมะ
Independent candidate Wayan Tas Khan in Lilong constituency today hosted his flag at his residence at Lilong Haurobi Mayailikai. Antas Khan said he will focus on agriculture to ensure economic growth in the constituency. National Party de depend on the government. Amana Sakar Pairakpata Aragadi, Manipur de Ngasi, politicized the Raga Isukir in Sangna Chatter by UNC blockade Asugumba Kaya Asida. Party ki izad e nga ga nga iba me am singa si da ki neutral lama oi na sat pangam ni Manipur da nga si parja singa national party da khaktang depend tau de amasong mi e nga ga bohot pi hai ba mese sa se ma si ma sung chat thana ngai hai na parja ki damak independent mi hud oi na song thok sara ga we will change we can do it hai ba slogan la si ga loi na na hai na parja ki sab tau ge na song thok sara pani. The Election Commission of India says the exit polls can be telecast after 5.30 p.m. on Thursday. The decision to postpone the exit poll has been taken in view of the election to be held on Thursday in Alapur constituency in Uttar Pradesh and Karna Prayag in Uttarakhand following the demise of candidates of recognized parties. The period of prohibition for exit polls as per the earlier notification of the Election Commission in the state was to end on Wednesday. Election Commission says the exit polls will be telecast after polling ends in these two constituencies. According to election laws, election, uh, exit polls can be telecast half an hour after the end of polling in all the phases and states. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. People stormed the Imphal police station this evening demanding action against those persons who disrupted a sit-in against the assault of Praja candidate Irendro Lechombam yesterday. Residents of Thamaiban Yumnam Lekai came to Imphal police station in a bus. However, police prevented them from entering the station. Later, a few of them were allowed to enter the station to file a complaint. People today protested the physical attack on Praza candidate in Thamiban constituency, Irendro Lechombam, and demanded punishment of those involved. They held the protest at Lampel Sanakai Tail. Protesters condemned the physical attack on a candidate. A large number of people today disrupted the sit-in organized against the assault of Braza candidate Irindro Lechombam at Lila Singh Kongdang Kong community waiting shed around 1 p.m. They asked the protesters not to hold the sit-in and damage the banners and placards used by the protesters. Thamiban Sinam Lekai Mera Paibi Lob has clarified that Praza candidate Irendro Lechombam was not assaulted at Thamiban Sinam Lekai. They stage a sit-in against the allegation met by the Praja candidate that he was assaulted by a group of persons at Thamiban Sinam Lekai. Protesters said Irendro violated the agreement signed between the political parties and the candidates who are contesting in Thamiban constituency not to hold election campaigns in Thamiban Sinam Lekai in view of the class 10 and 12 examinations. Akhil Lekai Youth Club TLC President Soram Sanaton said the residents of the locality have been wrongly accused for the blunder committed by a BLO in Sagolban constituency. Speaking to media today, Sanaton said the BLO distributed voter slips to only a few voters but the people did not complain against him. He said it was unfortunate that the locals were falsely charged with attacking him and police came to inquire about it. TLC condemned Congress candidate R.K. Imo for interrupting poll in the area and threatening the people. R.K. Imo, Lakpira me, Maya Amdu ka khara, inna ba launa ba dikhara, dhongu ki ba maane, kaiyum ba inna board ka ba taadi, takai likai jinoi tiam thokka ni hai. Madhu ma wahi wata dudi, shinda ba di, hai ning de, lem da bra enkha li. Bielo ni ba ni paam sa se, bias lai siang na hai da, bias ni lai oi dong ni. Bias ni da thok ta gudam ni, motor ai kaat si di, uniform li saang na hai na. ये मम थोपने नहीं करली मधु ये नंबर तो ना बहुत था तो बता कितन मैं आपने मुक्षी निम्न थोपने दे मान जो तुम लोट रचिए करे अनुगा मनी रेंबा आरोड़ा कंप्लेंट और का आरोना ऐ मधु दी सेना मधु ये का तुम था तो भी आनुवे सिंबिरो हाय ना बहुत सी काय तो ना इग्ना तुम कई इरा हम लेकिन पंक्तो कहे पता नहीं 
A three-day national seminar on armed violence and nationalism, Reflection in Manipuri Literature, kicked off today at Manipur University. The seminar is organized by the Center for Manipuri Studies at Anthropology Department. The seminar will focus on the influence of the circumstances after the British left Manipur and Manipur became a part of India on the Manipuri literature. During two days' technical sessions, the participants discussed about the impact of insurgency movement on Manipuri literature. The third technical session will begin at 11 a.m. tomorrow. The Hill Tribal Council has alleged that around 50 personnel of Myanmar Army snatched away a, snow, a sawmill at Howlin Pai village near border number 78 within the Indian Territory on March 4. In a press release, the council says the army personnel with sophisticated weapons entered the village and threatened the villagers. It condemned the act and appealed to the centre and state government to take measures to ensure the return of the sawmill and prevent such incident in future. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Qadar released its th uh, three-monthly journal, Health for Future at its health office. The edition contains articles on health, environment, drugs, child trafficking and sports written by different writers. The 17th Rup Mahal Artist Memorial Drama Festival 2016 concluded today at Rup Mahal Theatre. People's Arts and Dramatic Association Lok Thel was adjust the best play while Yumzao Lairimbi Dramatic and Cultural Unions Kaithil Sun won the Best Director's Award. Several well uh, uh, theatre artists and people from different walks of life attended the event. Prizes were also distributed to the winners in different fields of the event today. The Ford Foundation Day of Manipur Story Collection MSC, which is widely followed on Facebook, was celebrated today. MSC has more than 55,000 followers. Prizes were also distributed to winners among 40 persons who uploaded their stories on MSC page at the event held at MSU office on DM College campus. The prizes carried certificate and cash award. Now news from the world of sports. Cyclone Thamivan have backed the MCA Luang Pokpa T20 Cricket Trophy. In the 20th league match organized by Manipur Cricket Association at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium Luang Sangbam, Force Kedrigao batted first and made 98 for 9 in 20 overs. In the second inning, Trao Kwakaitil also made 98 for 8 runs in 20 overs and the match ended in a draw. Trao Kwakaitil all-rounder Priyojit was declared the man of the match. In the 21st league match played today, Cyclone Thamivan batted first and making 104 for 7 in 20 overs. In reply, PTRC Patsoi made 77 runs, losing all the wickets in 17.4 overs, losing the ma match by 27 runs. Cyclone Thamibun bowler Jempu was declared the man of the match for his four wickets. Tha Thamibun and UCC Uripok will meet while TCM DC Thongju will meet PSC Thamibun tomorrow. Chem Khagempali defeated their rival in the 14th Manipur Veteran Cricket Tournament. In the 6th league match played today, winning the toast, Model Club B Chingamakha batted first and made 104 runs in 24.5 overs. In reply, Chem Khagempali made 108 for 9 runs in 22.4 overs, beating Model Club B Chingamakha by 1 wicket. Chem Khagempali's all-rounder Jodiba was declared the man of the match. Ten teams are taking part in the tournament organized by Manipur Veteran Cricket Association at Oriental College and Model Higher Secondary School Playground. Officials of Tata Trust assured all possible help to the ongoing Ampas grassroots development program at Komala Park Artificial Trough Ground. 200 boys and girls are participating in the grassroots football 
program for boys and girls for age group 6 to 8 years, 9 to 10 years and 11 to 12 years, organized by Old Manipur Football Association, Imphal Center. Tata Trust Senior Program Manager Chanini Loko and Program Manager Bizendra Singh Anand have assured to help the program. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Campaigning intensifies in 22 constituencies for the second phase of the 11th Manipur Assembly elections. Chief Minister Okramibobi Singh contends BJP will not win more than two seats in the first phase. PH Chopper claims BJP will get absolute majority and form the next government. An election commission of India says the exit polls can be telecast after 5.30 p.m. on Thursday.